lovelies, how are you today? And welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon and I'm the sole proprietor of SAEH Body Butter. And I hope you enjoy the next video. Thank you. Hello lovelies. I'm about to bling out this canvas uh, with some transparent rhinestones. And I put this image on the canvas. Uh, I sublimated this on the canvas. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, this is my first time trying this. So let's see how it works. I'm going to be using my UV resin, which is light cure resin that I got from Michaels. So what I'm going to attempt to do is apply the UV resin on the canvas. I'm going to do the hat first because the entire canvas won't fit under my UV lamp. So I'm going to try to neatly apply this UV resin right on the canvas. And i got to stay within the lines. And uh, that's going to be kind of hard for me. I didn't do that well with drawing within the lines in grade school. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see, I got my popsicle stick to kind of sort of help me out. This is the hard part for me getting close up here and not going into her face. Okay, as I'm getting close to the part that I don't want covered, I might have to do those individually by hand. I might have to glue that down as opposed to this way. Now let me get my phone, the flashlight, to make sure I have all the areas covered. Because sometimes it's just hard to see. And hopefully my head is not in the way. I think I got everything pretty much covered. Okay. Alrighty, so then all I'm going to do is shake, 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 shake my rhinestones on and spread it out Again, like I said, it's going to be a couple of areas that's not covered because I didn't put any, um, I didn't put any, uh, hopefully my head wasn't in the way. I think my head is in the way. Let me move my head out the way. Okay, I'm trying to pat it down in the area where I apply UV resin. And there are going to be a couple of areas that was close to her face that I didn't have any resin on. 
um, that I will have to go back in and hand place those because I couldn't uh, My UV resin bottle is in a fine tip precision bottle. So, okay. Oh, I just moved that off that area. And it's always a good idea to have more stones than you think you're going to need. And they're not going to go to waste because the only ones that's going to stick is that is the ones that's adhered to the uh, that has UV resin under it. So I'm turning it around and I'm going to bring in my light. And I'm going to go for 99 seconds. Uh, typically, you go for like uh, four cycles of 99. And then I'll bring you back and we're going to see if it's stuck properly. Okay, I think I did it a total of seven or eight times. I thought about it. I normally do it four times, but that's when the uh, UV resin is on top. So the lamp had to go through, go through the, uh, the rhinestone. So let's see. How did it do? So all I'm going to do is tilt it to the side and shake off the excess. Shake off the excess. Shake off the excess. Okay, that's how it's looking so far, but I see a couple of spots that I have to fill in around there. And let me see, I'm, su I'm surprised it got it up in there because I thought that was the spot that I left open. Okay, so that's the top, that's the hat. So I'm gonna go let me clean up these stones, put these stones back, and then I'm gonna work on the dress. Okay, I'm done with that. So now we're going to do the dress. Same process. Apply UV resin. Spread it out. Try to stay within the lines.
I probably could do this better close to the edges if I had a, a paintbrush, but I didn't think about that. I have one, but it's upstairs, so I am going to have to get it when I go get close to the edges. Like I said, I think I did about eight cycles of the 99 seconds because the lamp has to go through the stones in order to get to the UV resin, whereas normally when you do it, the resin is on top. Hopefully you can hear me because I have on my mask. I'm going to take this to the edge. Okay. That's all my UV resin. And I'm just going to sprinkle the stones. And as you see, this is a different color. This is a darker. And I'm patting them down make sure the ones that are the ones that are on the UV resin that they're sticking to it okay I think I've got the entire dress covered And if I have any open spots, I can just manually dab some UV resin on it and, and then um, reapply the stone because I see a couple of spots on the hat that I need to do. Okay, so I'm turning it around that way. Let me pull it back some so you can see. And I'm going to put the lamp on here. And I'm going to do about 8 cycles of 99 seconds. So I'll bring you back when it's finished. Okay, I think I did 8 times. You know, sometimes it's hard to keep track of how many times it goes around. But anywho, let's see what we got here. So, I'm going to pick her up. Hopefully that was enough time because it seemed like more of these are falling off than the little ones did. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that was enough time because it sounds like more is dropping off. Can you see that? Don't she look gorgeous? That is gorgeous. But there are a couple of spots right here that it didn't get filled in. But that was close to the edge. And close to her hand. And up here around the bodice of the dress. I'll just go back in and hand place those. Because like I said, I should have used, used a paintbrush to paint on the uh, epoxy. 
you know, I didn't want to go too much over the line. But I think she is cute. And you see that sparkle? Look at her. So what I'm going to do is um, get my glue. First, what I'm going to do is clean my mess up. That's what I'm going to do first is clean my mess up. And then I'm going to get my glue. I have this uh, B7000. Uh, and I've never used this before. So this is a, a project of first time for me. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to move them to the side. What I'm going to do is... Hand place the stones in the spots that needs it. And uh, we're going to go from there. Alrighty. So I don't think I need my gloves anymore. But I'm going to keep my mask on because I have another project over yonder. I was working with regular epoxy. So I don't want to inhale those fumes. Okay, you are in view, but let me get you a little, that might be too close. Okay, I think that, that should do it. When I sit down, you look far away. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so, and I like this, this is a fine uh, precision tip, so I'm just going to squeeze out some glue, and just manually place the stones in the area where I didn't put in the epoxy at. And, uh, hold up for a second. Because it's hard for me to pick them up off of this, uh, parchment paper. All right, you're back in, in view. Let me turn my light down so, so I can see. I really don't like placing stones one by one, but I think I can handle this a little bit. I can handle this a little bit. It's not too bad. Too not, not too much of a tedious process. Yeah, like this strap, I wouldn't have been able to do with the, the UV resin because this strap is, is kind of tight, narrow. But with this precision tip, yes. But if I would have had a paintbrush, then I could have uh, did a better placement job with the uh, UV resin. So this is another option for 
if you're doing a instead of doing a paint and sip you can do a rhinestone sip course this would take a little longer than the uh, paint and sip It all depends on how big your image is. If you get an image this size, which is a five by seven, it shouldn't take that long. My favorite glue to work with dealing with rhinestones is um, liquid fusion. I wish they come out with a, a, a fine tip, a precision tip. There are some spots that I can't get to with um, with the glue. I'm gonna have to uh, pour some more uh, UV resin on there and lay it on top because it's not gonna lay flat with the glue. Okay. Oh, I forgot I gotta do the top. Let me clean up my mess. Move that to the side. Alrighty, let me try to fill in the gaps of the hat. I almost forgot about the hat. All 
right, like that. So, like I said, or maybe I didn't say it, maybe I was thinking it, but anywho, yeah, I could have rhinestone this one by one, but it would have taken much longer than using the uh, UV resin. personally don't have the patience for that. Ah, let go. Let go, let go. Let's see. Let me get this sticky stuff off the edge of this so my stones won't be sticking to it. Alright. Let's try right here. You know, so these transparent rhinestones, they're not just to fill the inside of a double wall tumbler. You can use them on the outside of a tumbler or a keychain or like this canvas. So you have a lot of options. Take a couple more and I'll be done. Okay. 
Okay, and one more on this end. I really like this precision tip blue. As I'm turning the canvas, I can see other spots that I need to fill in. That's what I like about crafting. You know, one one genre or one element of crafting is versatile. I think I used threes on the hat, and I believe these are fours on the dress. Millimeters. The more I keep turning it, the more gaps I see. Okay, like I said, there are a couple of gaps that I will need to put it back under the uh, under the lamp, but I will need a this precision tip is so small that I can barely see it to put the uh, the thing back in there. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see which way it goes. Do I try it this way so you can see it better? Nope. There we go. I think. I think you can see it better that way. Anyway, that is the project. I'm trying to turn it around so you can see it. There we go. That's it. There she is. I love her. She's cute. She is cute. She's cute. Alrighty. So that will end our tutorial. I thank you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. That's the finished product. Isn't she lovely? I love it. I love it. I sublimated the canvas 
that's a dollar store canvas and then I apply UV resin and on top of the UV resin I uh, apply transparent rhinestones and that's the end result alrighty bye bye